Uh, go back and get torches. Get that diamond pick out because I don't think I'll whop right through that gas spawner. Since I have the water, I'm not really afraid of lava anymore. I'll grab some bread. Make sure I have that. Doing a bit of late night casting tonight because I'm probably not gonna do a whole lot tomorrow. I'm gonna have to take a break from the computer and maybe play some Mass Effect 3, some Skyrim, maybe a little Final Fantasy. Who knows? Although we might be being for D and D. Who knows? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Zing, 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 bing, bing. Back up to the surface. Hello, Mr. Zombie and Spider. That, don't need that. Don't need that. I'm just gonna stick stuff somewhere for right now. <laughs> I'm only gonna take two buckets of water. I think that's all I'm really gonna need. As my wife said, I smack at that too. She, what? She's talking to my dog. What did she just do? What are you doing, Sasha? Weird dog. Yeah, let's put armor on. Trust me when I say there's plenty of iron that I can do this without feeling any regret at all. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna take a workbench with me just in case I need one. I'm gonna start doing that carrying workbenches with me every time. Cause you never know when you're gonna need a weapon on the fly. Oh gosh darn it, I forgot bread. I'll have to go back up. Ah, <sighs> sorry for this. Late traveling. Forgot the bread. Kind of fun though. I enjoy mark minecart tracking. I don't think we even need half of these rails to plow our way up here, or half the power rails to get our way up here. You know, I think I can remove some of them safely without thinking anything of it. My dog is super super hyper tonight. Wanting to play. My dog is the, almost a year old. One year old. Maybe why she's so hyper still. She's still a puppy. I I, I tune any dog that's not two years old a puppy. Any dog that's under two, I can still consider a puppy. She's nothing but trouble. She's on reads all get out, but such a loving dog at the same time. So you kind of wonder. Alright, I'm gonna put that. There we go. I think I got it set up right. Cool. Hopefully, we don't have a creeper on the stairs this time. I would hate for that to occur again. Oh, okay. This happens every freaking time. Come 
while they do some infighting, I'm just gonna run around. <laughs> Apparently they sound a safe route to go around, so I'm going to try to take said route. Or just do this. I don't know why I put the rest of the torch down. Doesn't bring that much light! <laughs> Dance above the flame. I don't think so. I had this place well lit up. Dumb and dumber here. I don't know, I get freaked out when I see fires because I always think something's gonna burn down and I'm not gonna be able to get out again. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just thought that was super creative of I me. Mean, hey, I'm gonna use water to take care of this problem for me. Okay, I don't see a way around. Hmm, so I'm just gonna make a way through. <laughs> I don't know if this actually defeats the purpose, but it said, you know, use any way you can think of to complete this, these maps. So I think I'm coming up with a very creative, and innovative possibility. Why dance above the flames? I can simply go beneath them. Or above. You know what I mean. Greenwell Dungeon, everybody! One of the more simpler ones. I'm kind of disappointed I lost that really nice suit of armor, but... Whoa, why was my... computer shooting way up? I think I'm going to um actually I'm gonna keep that up. I mean talk to Pastor DC for a while and I haven't had much of a 
chance. So I think I'm going to type to him afterwards to see how he's doing. Perhaps sometimes... Ow! Jerk. I ain't gonna ever come back again. There's no, there's nothing. Unless they didn't see anything. Oh yeah, it's all bedrock on the sides. I was like, okay. <laughs> Almost have to light these maps up. Like, every, like everything's worth lighting up, you know. All right, let's pop back over there and see if we can't light up a little more. Oh, crap. Okay, they didn't blow any of those up, so... Ow.
Ouch. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Why does it have to be such a pain in the ass? Skeletons. I hate creepers, but I hate skeletons too. Okay. The arrow go away, I can leave. <laughs> and here comes another <laughs> Oh, Okay, I guess I was supposed to go there after the cathedral. Sweet. Sweet day. Not a big deal. Something. Forgot to get out the wall and place the wall. That would be a fatal mistake. Fatality. No mortality. Today's this one is brought to you by the letter L. Way over here. Blue wool, brown wool, green wool. Like, holy skip, 12 and 13, this went to 14. That was actually a really simple puzzle to get around. I mean, just dumping buckets of water on it would solve the whole thing, and then one ga single gas spawner. That really wasn't a challenge, except for how I proceeded to do it the first time. And I epically failed. Oh ah, well. Yeah, that's anybody chatting. Whoopsie. Oh. Hi, guys. Didn't know I had some different viewers for a change of pace. This is Vex Super Hardcore Maps Sea of Flames 2. This is uh, actually a specialty challenge map that he made above 10 different maps. And uh, the whole challenge is to get every single color, I'll show you guys this, to get every single color of wool, and iron block, gold block, and diamond block to complete the whole map. Once you get all these, you basically win the map and you're done, more or less. But every one of them is a super hard challenge, depending on your thought process, depending on what you want us to do, that is. Going back to my house now, I'm gonna deposit the bowl in the buckets. Get ready to do puzzle number twelve. I'm gonna do twelve. The last one's sixteen, I 
peeked inside, but I'm not going to tell anybody what it is. I'm going to leave it to be a big... Oh, crap. Surprise. Uh, let's put them here. I'm putting... I'll put, I'll put the pick away for now until I know what I'm doing. But not until I know... Not until I know where I'm going to do stuff. Uh, let's grab a bow. Where are my bows at? I have more bows than that. Hmm, wonder where I'm moving. <laughs> oh, here's one. I'm gonna make a couple iron picks and move back out. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need more torches, too. By the way, welcome new viewers. Always glad to have some more people watching me. That sounded wrong. Watching the stream. Watching me. No. That would be kind of creepy. Take those arrows with me. Yes, I know there's a cave nearby. That sound says, hey, there's a cave section nearby. Really? I wouldn't have known that. Um. I'm gonna take some sand. In case I have the fall. Oh, fall distance. Alright, everybody, on to number 12. I'm actually feeling kind of spunky tonight. Had a good day at work. Came home, mined a, about nine stacks of iron out of the ace dungeon. I still haven't scratched the surface on it. To let you new people, to let the new people that are on the stream know, I built nothing here except I've modified some of the railways. Just a tad. To get my point. To get it. All this was done by Vex. He is such a freaking talented guy. Watch everybody as I show you a really incredible dungeon. This is the fourth dungeon we're actually going to go through build every bit of this block by block by block. I'm, I'm in shock this guy actually pulled this off. But I am going to go through every single dungeon again to see if I missed like a bunch of chests. Lava, lava. And you just peel around. And we're going to the giant swat, giant pig statue. I'm actually kind of curious if I can go through it. If there's some, like, some surprise on the inside. I know there's zombie pigmen over here. Um, I really hope that's not how you uh, get the gold. Cathedral to Suede. Suede. Yeah, there's monsters that spawn here. This, 